Hey guys, so welcome back to Deepak's Daily of Eating. So, new insight, I, in my bid to develop a new form of income, I'm looking into the world of trading. So I was looking initially at CFDs, Contracts for Difference, where you speculate upon the growth or fall of a company's stock price and you can take out a contract, which is ultimately a buy or sell agreement through an intermediary, a broker, based upon whether you think the stock will fall or rise. And then you have going short or going long. Going long is when you think it will rise. Going short is when you think it will go down. And you can, for example, short sell when you buy a stock at $1 per share, anticipating, and you don't buy, you, you borrow to then fundamentally sell off. So you'll short sell by saying, okay, I buy from John, or I borrow from John to sell to Richard for $1. And then I anticipate the price of that share, which is an apple, let's say, will go down to 50 cents. So then I buy them back from John, the same number of shares. I bought two shares. So I buy them back at the 50 cent price. So $1 gives me those two shares back. And then I can return those shares to the broker, two shares, $2 which means I return a dollar. So I, and that's before any interest and any, I think it's interest and there's something else that the cost of, of, of borrowing effectively. So then you have going short where you, of course, sorry, going long, where you're in a bearish market. There's bullish and there's bearish. Bullish is bulls charging fast, going up. Bears are slow, going down. And you fundamentally in a, bullish market will buy at one dollar and then maybe sell it at 110 because you think the stock price has gone up so that's broadly where i'm at so far what's interesting also is that you can determine price actions based upon a stop loss and a take profit order so a stop loss is saying great i'm going to i, I i'm going to buy this apple share for one dollar and I predict that it will go up. So I'm going to buy 10 shares of $1 each, so $10. And I will, if it reaches, I think it'll go up to $2, but even if we hit 150, I will fundamentally then take profit at $1.50. So then that means I bought my 10 shares, they go up by 50 cents each, which means I make five, five additional dollars above and beyond my $10 because there's a 50% move. I can then also put out a stop loss order, meaning that, well, I'm buying them at $1, but if they go even down to 95 cents, then I'm going to have a stop loss, meaning that I won't then keep them. I will sell them at 90 cents because I don't want to take any losses bigger than that. So you can have a ratio of one to, I think if that's five or six, where your potential loss is not anywhere close as your potential upside. So it's quite attractive and interesting. Stop loss and stop loss and take profit, price action orders. So that's kind of where I'm at so far. And then I'm now beginning to read up about the technical analysis for candlestick trading or OCHL, which is open, close, high, low. I've learned some of the terms bullish, bearish, ranging, and choppy market. So bullish is going down, bearish is going, sorry, bullish is going up, bearish, bearish is going down, ranging is sideways, not a zigzag, but up and down. Then you have choppy markets that are indecisive. The markets you should stay away from are choppy slash indecisive. And then you can begin to read charts based upon the way that the candlesticks look at an individual or scaled level. So you have strong buying or selling pressure, which you can determine based upon, for example, when they're selling pressure, it's a red candlestick that goes down. That's strong selling. Strong buying pressure is a green candlestick going up. But then it also depends upon the open and the close where people have tried to push it up, but they failed. People tried to push it down, but they failed. Which could be to a news report that came out or you just, just look at the general trend. So you can try to push it. So, so, so when it's, for example, a open that then closes higher than when it opened, but there was even a much, much higher than that. So if you open at $1 and then it closes at $1.20, I need to understand how the closes work 
per unit, I guess, or per candlestick. I'm, I'm still not quite clear on that. But if you have an open at one dollar and it goes up to one dollar eighty and then it closes at one twenty, you'd have a bit of a bullish market. But they expected there to be higher returns than that. But you can still maybe go in, and then if you try and some people try and sell off aggressively, but then the market so so then you have a really low a low that's different from a close, and that could have failed because the price ultimately actually finished potentially higher, slightly higher than the open, or even just slight losses were less than anticipated. So these are just some of the insights. So price action is the price, I guess, at the open and close of the underlying asset, the security or the, the currency, the asset, I guess, currency, the security, the commodity. I don't really know what securities are. I say that, yeah. Because then you've got market conditions, which can be choppy, ranging, bullish or bearish. And then you've got market phases where, and this is where this chap where I'm reading from describes them as run-ups and pullbacks. So run up, go up, pull back, it reverses. You can jump on a trend. You can short the reversal where it's like, wow, wow, went up. Okay, now it's plummeting. And you can get in at the top of the plummet just as, about, as, a, as it's about to go downhill and short sell effectively. You have runs where it's going steadily up. Then you have a pullback downward or upward runs and then there's something called support and resistance which i'm not quite familiar yet but that's the next stage of the video anyway i'm very curious about forex and cfd trading at the moment i've got a two and a half hour video that i'm watching and i'm beginning to expand some of my learning based upon videos that i watch so yeah let's see how this goes we've got some friends who are making in upwards of ten thousand pounds let's say let's say in upwards of eight thousand pounds per month doing it probably one to two hours a day and i'm just curious to see how fast i can develop an income from this based upon a one thousand dollar account so i intend to go live by or before november 1st and at the moment i'm trying to learn as aggressively as i can so this is one of the things i'm beginning to undo with my my newfound let's say time if you will. hey guys it's deepak shukla here i am huge on listening to books on Audible. So if you're interested in getting all of the insights as I discover them through the course of all the books I read, please, please do comment, like, and of course, subscribe so that you get notified every time we release a video. Thank you so much. And I hope to hear from you soon.